Oppenheimer, the much-anticipated Christopher Nolan film, is out, and I had a chance to see it. Now, unlike his other movies, this is truly an adult drama. Um, it's much more talkative, right? It's much more suspenseful. It's about uh, J. Robert Oppenheimer and the Manhattan Project, kind of the beginnings of that, and a little bit into the aftermath of it. Okay, um, but, you know, for all those purposes, it's not necessarily an action film, right? Even Dunkirk, which was historical, has a tremendous amount of action compared to this. This is much more, um, I would say, a psychological exploration of, you know, the whole ins and outs of what was going on at the time, you know, what led up to it and afterwards. And overall, I gotta say, I did enjoy this movie. I, I really did. But I think, you know, as I walk away from it, I'm left thinking about certain choices as far as the film versus the characters. And, you know, while there's a lot to think about, right, like the, the whole movie, the whole premise and its technique, it aims to kind of really have you grapple with, you know, the, the atom bomb with kind of uh, other aspects, you know, the politics of it all, uh, the morality of it all, yada, yada, yada. And it does that. And yet, I th for me, a lot of, you know, Nolan's tropes, you know, sometimes they, 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 they get in the way. And again, it's tough to say because I did enjoy it. Would I have enjoyed it if it was like just a straight linear movie? Maybe, I, it, it's tough to answer, it's a coulda, shoulda, woulda, but as it is right now, it's very non-linear, it's almost, I mean, it's pretty much three hours long, um, it doesn't help you out in terms of putting up, you know, just even the, the, the date or where you're at, right, so like all that's presumed, um, there is one text card, and it's at the beginning, and not that it's red text, Exactly, but it, it might as well be because it's re it's essentially unreadable, right? So there's this text over like this explosion, and you're meant to read it. It's a quote about Prometheus, which um, the, the this movie is based on the book called American Prometheus, so that's where it draws that from. And it's like, a it's just it was hard to read because of the contrast. A second, it was small. And so I know I'm nitpicking these things, but it's just incredible to me how just Nolan, in a way, almost refuses to, like, help the audience in any sort of way. Um, the other sort of issue that I had with it was it, it never really explains the bomb, right? And I don't need it to necessarily, you know, give me a whole physics breakdown or stuff like that. But um, in terms of character development, right, when... You know, certain choices are made to go along with A instead of B or whatever the case may be just in terms of making the bomb or, you know, part of that is determining the humanity, right? A hydrogen bomb versus an atom bomb uh, and, and what that means, right? And because, like, Nolan, as he's wont to do, he'll often just have these scenes where... You know, people speak really fast. You can't necessarily understand them. Um, a lot of times, you know, sometimes it's just more of a montage thing and a feel thing than, hey, uh, here's the information. And that's a choice that I disagree with outright, um, you know. But, again, it's one of those things that, yes, I think it's a very powerful movie, a very worthwhile movie. You know, is it one that needed to be shot in IMAX? I don't think so. Um, I, and I think it could have been just as effective. Um you know, so, I mean, there, there, there's definitely a lot to love, and I, I do appreciate it leaning into the nuanced nature of Oppenheimer and, you know, just history in general uh, with everyone involved there. So I, I think that really does behoove it. That's a big uh, pro of the movie. I just think, you know, yeah, I, I, I'm torn. I'm torn. But if this was a movie that, you know, you had any inclination to see then then do it right like make your own decision um some people are calling this like nolan's greatest masterpiece uh not for me you know i think 
I think it's a wonderful movie, but it's not the masterpiece in that way. But it does make me think, right? And, and I think it is worthwhile. And if nothing else, I always appreciate the fact that Nolan is one of the few filmmakers and one of the only filmmakers on this scale that can make an original movie, draw a crowd, um, tell a story, and, you know, take some big swings and things of that nature. So for that, I you know, I commend him and I will always support him. Um, but this movie, as I said, overall... Um, it, it, it has to sit with me, but the fact that, like, I'm more, you know, there, there's a lot to think about in terms of, as I said, the, the, the themes of the movie, but I'm still reeling more so from some of the filmmaking choices versus anything else. And, you know, the other thing of it is um, there's scenes in color, there's scenes in black and white. Now, and, and you know, Nolan's stated outright that the ones that are in black and white, those are more factual right um whereas the ones that are in color are more subjective if i hadn't seen that beforehand would i have like picked that up I, i'm not sure so i mean there's there's just a lot of layers as usual to um, nolan's film and i think in this case for me it does get in the way of thinking about the implications of the story versus trying to just figure out a story that for all intents and purposes, I mean, we don't all know. Like for me, I didn't know the full ins and outs of the Manhattan Project. Like, from it's much more like cursory for me. You know, what I've read in the history books and stuff like that. So it was great to see, you know, a true man and, and the various FBI and the military and you know, just kind of what was going on in that time. You know, from a mindset. Um, and I just, I'm totally fine with that working on me versus having to like go the extra mile to be like, you know, piece together, okay, where are we, who's this, blah, 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 what's going on, um, and not that, not that it's that hard to necessarily follow along, even without, like, um, the dates, time stamped, and so forth, but, but still, like, um, I just, yeah, it would, it would have been nice, you know, I, th I, th I think, uh, it would have, like I said, it, it would have pointed the audience in their direction instead of having to, like, really work for it, but, I don't know. Um, you know, I could change my mind tomorrow. Uh, you know, if I see it a second time, then maybe, you know, now, um, it, right? Like, it's there, there's many factors, but I'm curious if and when you do see this movie, what are your thoughts, you know? And if you want to talk spoilers, um, let's talk spoilers, but uh, just note it as such in the comments. Thank you.